Hi guys, Chris, we're back again with another episode of my BGM series with the New York Islanders. We are in the Eastern Conference Finals facing the Washington Capitals. We are the highest seeded team, so we have home advantage in the first two games. And in the Western Conference Finals, it's the Minnesota Wild against the Chicago Blackhawks. We'll get game one of the series underway now. And see, hopefully we can win the first game and get off to a good start. Okay, four minutes in. We've had four shots on goal, so the Caps won. Goal Capitals. Mike Ribeiro on Corey Schneider. Six minutes in. 2-0 Washington. Jason Chimera with a goal. Caps on the power play. Comes to nothing. Okay, coming towards the end of the first. Islanders on the power play. Comes to nothing. Four minutes in to the second period. Islanders on the power play. No goal. Caps on the power play. No goal. Ten minutes gone in the second period. Still 2-0 to Washington. Washington on the power play. And it comes to nothing. Goal Islanders. Reasoner with a goal. Islanders trail 2-1. End of the second period. Islanders trail 2-1. Same scoreline with five minutes gone in the second period. Goal for Washington, Brower, Capitals lead 3-1. Goal Islanders, Grabner, lead is cut back to 1 again. And on the power play, comes to nothing. 5 minutes left in the game, 3-2 to Washington. Washington with an empty net goal, Michael Johansson. 4-2 is how game 1 of the series ends. Okay, Michael Neuvert with a 2.0 GAA. And we'll move on to game two of the series. Alex Semin been in form for Washington with eight goals. Ovechkin leading the assist with ten. Okay, game two underway. Capitals on the power play. Comes to nothing. Islanders on the power play. Comes to nothing. Eight minutes gone in the game. Still level at zero apiece. Six minutes to go in the first period. Still no goal in the game. Very low scoring game so far. Very few shots on goal as we enter the second period. Goal Capitals. Ovechkin. Four minutes. Th 29 gone in the second period. Islanders on the power play. Five on three. Of now five on four. Comes to nothing. Capitals on the power play. Comes to nothing. Islanders on the power play as the second period expires. Still 1 0 to the Capitals. Islanders now with a 5 on 3 chance, and it's a goal for Nielsen, 1 all. Islanders 5 on 4, comes to nothing. 13 minutes left in the game, still 1 all. Goal for the Islanders, John Tavares, 4 minutes 30 left in the second. Goal for the Islanders, St. Louis, 3 minutes 19 left. Goal for the Islanders, Roman Hamalek, empty net goal, 1 minute 19 left. And that's how the game ends. Three quick goals for the Islanders. One, yes, granted, was an empty net goal, but if you, two goals in just over a minute sealed the victory from Tavares and St. Louis. Okay, Corey Schneider having an absolute storm of furrows in that game. And we shall get this schedule moved on and get game three of the series underway as soon as we possibly can. Okay, game three is underway. No goals yet. Four minutes in. Goal for the Capitals. Olsner. Goal for the Islanders. Chris Kreider. Five seconds apart. Those two goals. Ten minutes gone. Still one all. Islanders on the power play. Goal on the power play for Nielsen. Five minutes left in the first period. First period ends. 2-1 the Islanders lead. Islanders on the power play again, racking up the shots. No goal this time. Capitals on the power play. No goal. And Capitals on the power play again, 5 on 3, 5 on 4, no goal. Second period coming to an end, Islanders still lead, 2-1. Islanders on the power play, Ovechkin with a short-handed goal. Islanders still on the power play, and comes to nothing. 
Goal for the Capitals, Nicholas Backstrom on Corey Schneider. 11 minutes 30 left in the game. 8 minutes left in the game. Still 3-2 to the Capitals. 3 minutes left in the game. And that's how it ends. 3-2 to Washington. Okay, Ovechkin with one goal and one assist in that game. And the Capitals lead the series 2-1. We're heading into game four right now in Washington. Okay, game four underway. Islanders on the power play. Comes to nothing. Goal for the Capitals on the power play. Alex Semin with a goal. Chris Kreider with an equaliser. Less than 30 seconds later. Islanders on the power play. Comes to nothing. Five minutes left in the first period. Still one all. And on the power play again at the end of the first. Comes to nothing. Goal for the Capitals. Ribeiro with the goal. Two minutes ten into the second period. And is on the power play. It comes to nothing. Eight minutes to go in the second period. Capitals lead 2-1. Make that 3-1. Joey Crabb with the goal. Seven minutes thirty left in the second. Five minutes left in the second. Still 3-1 to the Capitals. Second period finishes, shots fairly even. Capitals lead 3-1. Five minutes gone in the third. Uh, Capitals on the power play. No goal. Ten minutes left in the game. Can the Islanders come back from two goals down? They get one goal back with Molson. Seven minutes to go. One more goal to level it at three all. Can they do it? Empty net goal for D'Agostini. Takes the game 4-2 for Washington. OK, we'll look to uh, get game five underway. Obviously saying it's a must-win game is a bit of an understatement as we're 3-1 down in the series. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Sim game. And we'll get this next game underway. OK, three minutes gone in the game. Still no score. Islanders racking up the shots on goal. Eight shots to three in favour of the Islanders already. 10 minutes gone, still no goal in the game. And is on the power play, and they get a power play go through straight. 5 minutes 41 left in the first period. First period comes to an end, still 1 0 to the Islanders. Caps on the power play, comes to nothing. Caps on the power play again. Once again, comes to nothing. Goal for the Islanders, Matt Molson. Nine minutes left in the second period. Okay, second period coming to an end. Still 2-0 to the Islanders. They've had 21 shots on goal to 20 from the Capitals. Goal for Washington, Alex Semin. 13-21 to go in the third period. Seven minutes to go in the game. Still 2-1 to the Islanders. Three minutes left to go. Islanders with an empty net power play goal from Brad Boys. They take the game 3 1. We're still alive. Come on, lads. And we'll get the uh, schedule moved on and get game 5 of the series underway. Kyle Pozo now leading the scoring charts with, with 6 goals. Brad Boys with 9 assists. Would you like to get the next game in the series underway now? Okay, 4 minutes gone in the game. No goal. Islanders on the power play. No goal. Capitals on the power play, still no goals in the game. 10 minutes gone. KG Affair, 15 minutes gone in the first period, only 17 shots in the game. First period coming to an end, no goals in the game. First goal of the game from the Islanders, David Backers on Braden Holtby. Islanders on the power play, 5 on 3, now 5 on 4, no goal scored. 10 minutes left in the second period, still only the one goal in the game. Island, Island has been outshot 20 shots to 12. Capitals racking up the shots again. Second period comes to an end. Still 1-0 lead for the Islanders. Islanders on the power play. No goal. Islanders on the power play again. No goal again. 10 minutes left in the game. Islanders on the power play. No goal. 6 minutes left. Still 1-0 lead for the Islanders. Islanders on the power play. Last minute of the game. Goal from Ovechkin with one second left in the game. Heading into overtime. Islanders on the power play. Goal for the Islanders. Grabner on the power play. 
And wow, look at that. Washington Ovechkin with one second left in the game. Okay, we're going to a game seven. We won the last two games to stay alive. Can we complete the sweep? Here we go. Game seven underway. Islanders on the power play. No goal. Coming up to 10 minutes gone in the game. We've been outshot four shots to two. 15 minutes gone in the first period. Still no goal in the game. We've only had two shots on goal. First period comes to an end. We've had three shots. Capitals have had 10. Capitals first goal of the game. Brower. Capitals second goal of the game. Schultz. 16 seconds apart. Islanders on the power play. No goal. We've had eight shots to the Capitals. 16. 10 minutes to go in the second. Goal on the power play for Washington. Mike Ribeiro. Seven minutes to go in the second period. Capitals have had double the amount of shots that we have. And they have a fourth goal through Johansson. 26 seconds left in the second period. Okay, looks like there's no way back for the Islanders now. They're on the power play. No goal. 13 minutes left in the game. Power play for the Islanders. Shots are racking up. No goal. 10 minutes left in the game. Capitals still lead 4-1. Five minutes left in the game. Still 4-1 to the Capitals. Surely this is now a bridge too far. Can't score four goals in the last five minutes. No, they can't. Capitals take game seven of the series. 4-0. Jeff Schultz with one goal and two assists in the game. And Neuwirth with a 24-save shutout. A Chicago eliminate Minnesota. So it's a Chicago-Washington final. Okay, we'll quickly check the playoff tree just to confirm. Here we go, Chicago Washington final. There we go, Washington beat us in seven. Chicago beat Minnesota in five. So Chicago are a very fresh team coming into the Stanley Cup finals. Okay, we'll quickly check the stats for the Islanders. Okay, Hagelin only had one more point. Wow, pretty poor series from him. Brad Boys moved up with 11 points, Grabner with 11, Molson with 10, Nielsen and Backers with eight uh, with 9 apiece, Bizanovsky and Gardner with 8 apiece. Let's see how Corey Schneider got. Well, Nabakov played. Okay, Schneider with a 1.86 goals against average, 36 goals against in the series, 93.7 save percentage. And Nabakov played for 20 minutes. Must have played a period. Okay, and he's faced 11 shots. I'll quickly get the schedule moved on and see who wins the Stanley Cup. But before we do that, I'll just quickly run through the results again. Okay, so we lost game 1, 4-2. Won game 2, 4-1. Lost game 3, 3-2. Lost game 4, 4-2. Won game 5, 3-1. Won game 6, 2-1. And then lost game 7, 4-0. Well... Pretty low scoring we were in that one. Pretty disappointing. But we've done a lot better than I thought we would. I thought we may get potentially get to the first round of the playoffs. I thought we may have uh, ended up finishing 7th or 8th and clawing a playoff berth. But I didn't expect us to finish so so high up and win the division. We'll quickly get the schedule moved on as soon as we can. And there we go. Washington defeated Chicago in four games to win the Stanley Cup. I'll just move it on a bit more and we'll let all the awards and everything get done and dusted. Um, there we go. Washington Capitals won the Stanley Cup and Portland Pirates won the AHL. Okay, when this finishes I'll check out all the awards and see who's won what. Come on, there we go. Simulation has finished. There we go. There we go. Awards. Okay, Capitals win the Stanley Cup. Minnesota Wild win the President's Trophy. Clarence S. Campbell Bowl, Chicago, Prince of Wales Trophy, Washington Capitals, Hart Ross Trophy, Sidney Crosby, Hart Memorial, Sidney Crosby, James Norris Memorial Trophy, Ryan Whitney, Lady Bing Memorial Trophy, Joe Thornton. The Calder Memorial Trophy went to Chris Kreider, great news. Con Smythe went to Ovechkin. Vesna went to Corey Schneider. William M. Jennings went to Nicholas Backstrom. The Bill Master Memorial went to Nick Schultz. Frank J. Selke went to Pavel Datsuk. Ted Lindsay went to Sidney Crosby. Maurice Richard went to Sidney Crosby. 
Oh, it's picking up loads. And then we're back to the uh, Stanley Cup. Let's check. The Calder Cup was won by the Portland Pirates. Okay, guys, we'll quickly move the schedule on a few days. But I think I'm going to look to call this episode a day here. And what I'll do is in the next episode, I'll have the draft and... I'll look to re-sign a few players and I'll show you guys who's available in free agency. Well, we'll quickly see if there's anyone retiring from the Islanders. There's a Yarmir Yaga there. Mark Eaton, who was with us, is retiring. I'm glad we uh, traded him now, but no one from the Islanders is retiring. Potentially would have been uh, Roman Hamelik or Martin St. Louis would have been the only one or two. Ray Whitney and Yaramir Yaga, the only main two there that I can see. Yaroslav Spasek, Saku Koivu retiring. Okay. Nothing really there. Let's see. Habibulin and Hedberg and Roly the goalie retiring. Okay, guys, I'll move the schedule on a couple of days. And while I do, I'll go back to what I was saying before. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll get the draft done, re sign some players and look to um, see who's available in the free agency in the next video and then I'll le let you guys leave comments on who you think we should look to bring in from free agency going towards season two hopefully it can be as good as if not better than this season so far but guys I'm going to call it a day there thanks for watching cheers